Well, marks a week since state troopers started to help patrol Austin streets. And tonight we have a breakdown of how many arrests they've made. And KXAN's Brianna Hollis shows us what the arrests were for and how city leaders say things are going so far. Thursday through Sunday, about 350 people were booked into the Travis County Jail, according to the Sheriff's Office. DPS booked 61, which includes seven arrests for possession of marijuana under two ounces. TCSO told us those people also faced additional charges. Austin criminal what defense attorney Rick Kofer brought up concerns about those drug arrests, worried about the focus of the DPS patrols. What I would characterize as non-traditional arrests for Austin, Texas. And by that, I mean people being arrested after routine traffic violations for possession of very, very small amounts of controlled substances. We asked the sheriff's office and DPS about those concerns. DPS says troopers conducted 1,570 traffic stops in Austin between March 30th and April 3rd, issuing 765 citations and making 83 arrests. Troopers cite and release anything under four ounces of marijuana. We went to the courthouse to take a look at some of the DPS drug arrest affidavits. The court documents reveal DPS made drug arrests after traffic stops for speeding and broken brake lights, as well as surveillance operations. When a trooper pulled a driver over for the broken brake light, he says he smelled marijuana and found a tube containing the drug. He also said he found 1.8 grams of meth and less than a gram of cocaine. DPS says the department has seized a total of 174 grams of cocaine, 40 grams of heroin, and nearly 130,000 grams of meth since the partnership started. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And APD says it did feel some relief with DPS's help this weekend. Also note, the CMT awards and other events drew pretty large crowds. Now, in a statement, the city of Austin says the majority of the DPS arrests so far have been serious felony arrests, and both agencies have policies on not arresting people solely for low-level marijuana possession in Travis County. Yeah, speaking of which, going in depth, in May of 2022, Austin voters decided to pass Proposition A, stopping arrests for low-level marijuana offenses. Prop A formalized a city policy put in place in 2020 when then police chief Brian Manley announced in a memo his officers would no longer cite or arrest those accused of misdemeanor pot offenses. The memo said the change was due to other statewide decisions. It pointed to a 2019 Texas House bill that authorized the production, manufacturing and sale of hemp products. Now, shortly after, DPS decided to prioritize resources on processing felony drug cases not misdemeanor marijuana offenses.